when the Saints play the Titans on Sunday, they are going to beat them. I've got the Saints beating the Titans 30 to 21. It's going to be a close game, but in the end, probably late in the fourth quarter, the Saints will just find a way to hold off and beat the Titans. Drew Brees will score touchdown after touchdown after touchdown after touchdown. So he will have a repeat performance from what he did on Monday night against the Colts. So he'll be scoring too many touchdowns for the Titans to overcome, and that'll be how the Saints win. We know that the Saints can score at ease. When we know that Sean Payton is an offensive mastermind. He'll come up with a great offensive scheme to neutralize the Titans' defense. Now, the Titans are playing without Malcolm Buck Butler, <clears throat> who is one of their best defenders. I believe he's on IR. So, with him being out, the Saints will have an even easier time throwing the ball against the Titans. Drew Brees will have a great game. He's going to throw for over 300 yards. He'll probably have about three or four touchdowns. Malcolm Thomas will do his thing. He always does. He always finds a way to get open. So he'll have 10 catches for 170 yards. And he'll have two or three touchdowns as well. Alvin Kamara will do his thing. He will run the ball. And he'll come out of the backfield and catch some passes. So he'll put in work like he always does. And a lot of people are out on him because he only has, what, two touchdowns? But that's okay. Number one, the Saints are winning. Number two, he's contributing. If I'm not mistaken, he does lead the Saints in rushing. So he is contributing to the team's success. And in the end, that's all that matters. So the Saints offensively will do their thing. Defensively, they will slow down the Titans just enough. I know Tannehill's playing well ever since he replaced Mariota. He's had this great resurgence. So he might be the starter going into next season. So all these rumors about Cam Newton coming to the Titans, I mean, it's still possible. Cam Newton could still end up going to the Titans. But if Ryan Tannehill keeps playing like this, they may not want to bring in Cam Newton. But hey, we'll have to wait and see what they do in the end. But I've got the Saints having a great performance offensively. They're going to score touchdown after touchdown after touchdown after touchdown. Drew Brees will have a great game. The Saints running attack will take off against the Titans. And that'll be too much for the Titans to handle. Drew Brees is having a great season. And I don't see the Titans stopping that. They just don't have enough to slow down Drew Brees. It's hard to beat the Saints offensively. It's hard to slow them down. They're just so great. They just find a way. The receivers find a way to get open. They always do. So the same thing will happen on Sunday. The Saints will win. So they'll be what? 12 and 4. It's not 12 and 4, excuse me. They'll be 12 and 3 after this game. They'll continue to dominate in the NFC South. And they're gonna go straight on to the playoffs. And I've got them making the Super Bowl. That's what's gonna happen with the Saints this season. This is their year. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. You should definitely subscribe to my channel. If you haven't done so already, just press that subscribe button below this video. If you did that, I'd greatly appreciate it. And plus by subscribing, you wouldn't miss out on any future content that I post. So you should definitely subscribe. Thanks again for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope that you all have a blessed, wonderful day.